Hello there, in this video we're going to review the Panzerkampfwagen by Kobe. So this set was sent to me by Brick Tanks to review. They haven't paid me for this review, but they did send me this set. I'm really quite excited to review this set because, believe it or not, I've never actually made uh, any model of a tank, let alone a building block tank. And in case you're not aware, Brick Tanks is a UK-based seller of Kobe sets, soon actually to expand into other building block manufacturers making military vehicles, which I will be taking a look at over the coming weeks. If you live in the UK and you order before 2 p.m., you get free next day delivery. They have a thing called Panzer Points, which is a bit like club card points if you shop at Tesco. So you earn points the more you buy. Um, excellent customer service. They've always been a pleasure to deal with. And I will leave a link to this set down below in case you want to check this out or their huge range of other military vehicles. Ships, planes, tanks, weapons, you name it, they sell it. And Brick Tanks has actually sent me a few sets now. Uh, a ship, a Spitfire, and now this tank. I actually managed to get hold of a triplane at a local car boot sale, which was missing some pieces. Um, just to give you a little update there, because it is relevant to this, Brick Tanks does have a service where you can let them know if there are parts missing from your set, which incidentally I haven't had in any of the new sets that I've uh, received. You can let them know which parts are missing and they will send them to you. Well, the set that I bought from a car boot sale for a pound was missing about 15 pieces. I contacted Kobe directly on their website. They sent me uh, this little packet full of the, the missing pieces. And so I have actually been able to complete my triplane model here. Um, I haven't stuck the stickers on, but this is it. Isn't it nice? I mean, it's kind of good to know that if there are pieces missing, you've got two options really, Brick Tanks and Kobe directly. Superb customer service from Kobe. I'm very impressed. They didn't have to send me these pieces. Uh, all the more reason to support them as a company, in my opinion. So that's that model. Back to what we're actually supposed to be talking about. So the box artwork on these is superb. Don't want to dwell on the box too much. We want to get onto the model. Now, I'm not going to mention the leading manufacturer of building block sets. I'm not sure, you know, do we know who we're talking about? Yeah, we do, don't we? I would say this is on a par with the leading manufacturer of building blocks. Very attractive artwork as you can see the box is bigger than my entire body it's quite a big box now some details about this set it's by kobe in case you're not aware polish company that's been around for decades now actually and they specialize in making military vehicles and they do a fantastic job of it this particular set is the i'm never going to get this right the panzer kampfwagen six tiger aus e or for short, the Tiger One. And I think Panzer Kampfwagen is usually just abbreviated to Panzer. Okay, so you've probably heard of Panzer tanks. Now this set actually contains 800 parts, so it's quite a sizable uh, set. It comes with one of their um, Kobe mini people. Don't know what the actual technical term is, a Kobe. Yeah, let's, let's call it a Kobe. Just briefly on the back of the box, it shows you the various parts of the model that are articulated. Um, there is, as always on these Kobe sets, a card here, and this is in the back of the instruction booklet as well. You can cut it out if you want. A little bit of factual information about the tank. It was a German tank in service between 1942 and 1945. It weighed 57 tons. That's um, about three times my body weight. And it even comes with a little Luger gun, which I think is quite, I was going to say cute, but possibly cute isn't the right word for that. So that's the box. In terms of the um, contents of the box, it does come with three numbered bags of bricks. And I always say it, but that is great because if you don't want to build everything in one sitting, it gives you a really good stopping point. So you can just build bag one. I think bag one took me about an hour. Bag two took me about an hour and a half, and bag three took me about 45 minutes. So I got a good amount of building out of this. 
In terms of the actual building process and the instructions, instructions wonderfully well printed, incredibly easy to follow, as easy to follow as the uh, leading brick manufacturer. Colours are vibrant, instructions are clear. They're not exactly the same in terms of the way that they show you how to do stuff, um, but that kind of keeps you on your toes a little bit, makes it a little bit more exciting. You know when you build a set by the leading manufacturer, it just feels like a good quality model while you're putting it together. It doesn't feel like they've cut corners or they're, they're making structural decisions that are a bit dodgy. You don't get any of that either with Kobe. The brick quality is on a par, arguably slightly better than the leading manufacturer. In terms of clutch power, so this is how well the bricks stick together, it is higher in this. So these models, as I've said in previous videos, really, really stick together. Once the bricks are together, you'd have a little bit of difficulty getting them apart. And that is because they are intended for display. You know, you could have a huge display cabinet full of these tanks and it would look pretty spectacular. So you ain't gonna be taking them apart. And another reason that you're not gonna be taking them apart is they have a very large selection of kind of bespoke parts. So you can see the, the tread and the wheels on this tank, these little hatches and things. These are um, unique to this particular set. So not gonna be that useful for other sets. That said, if you've got a fantastic imagination, you could repurpose these in other sets. But that's not really the purpose of Kobe. Kobe is making beautiful models. And if you're easily pleased, like I am, again, it is just enjoyable building a set using parts that you wouldn't usually get from the leading manufacturer and to end up with a nice detailed model at the end of it. So I thoroughly enjoy the Kobe building process. Enough waffle about that. You want to see this set. So here we go. Here is the tank. Look at that. Now, if you know anything about Kobe, you'll know that they use pad printed bricks now rather than stickers. So all these decals that you see on the set, and there are others that I can't, there's one on the back as well. Um, they're actually printed onto the bricks. They're not stickers, so they're not gonna peel off. You're not gonna have to worry about putting them on straight. Now this set's really got some weight to it, um, and it's got a lot of play value, and it does look exceptionally like a real Panzer tank. Um, just very, very impressed. I'd have never thought that I would have enjoyed making a tank, but I really do. And maybe one of these, maybe that'll be the um, thumbnail. So in terms of points of articulation, things you can do on this model, there are quite a few. These tank treads here, they move. We've also got these kind of mud flaps as well, which is a, you know, it's an unusual thing. Quite nice to keep your tank clean. At the back of the tank, we have this little hatch here, which lifts open to reveal the engine with some more printed bricks inside. Um, and there's probably more detail actually to that engine than you can see just by doing that. You know it's more detailed as you put it together because you know that there are little bits that you can't quite see in there, but nice little hatch. The um, turret bit here obviously rotates as well, as does the gun. I'm sure I'm using all the wrong tank terminology. Please correct me. We've got a few of these little hatches, which I guess you can put your little cove inside. Please remind me what they're actually called because I've forgotten temporarily. So it does come with a little cove person. Now, I initially wasn't much of a fan of these um, because they look a bit kind of daft. I do quite like them. My only complaint is their legs. I mean, maybe they're just doing an impression of Elvis. There are various places in the model. You can stick your little German man, you can stick him inside the turret there. You can throw him on the floor delicately like that. Obviously, thinking about it, if you own the um, Spitfire, you can have a little uh, fight as well between the Spitfire and the tank, depending on how aggressive you're feeling. There's this little thing here as well, which I believe is pictured on the box. You're supposed to put the little code bloke behind that, um, possibly with a hat on. He has got, it's probably not gonna afford him much protection. There is a little uh, cloth hat for him to wear as well. So the bullets can bounce off that, can't they? 
He has got a few little accessories as well. He's got his um, Luger. He's got binoculars or binoculars if you're a normal person. He's also got a um, set of headphones because presumably he listens to craft work um, or possibly he's communicating with HQ to work out where to drive his tank to and decide on things to blow up. So yeah, it's kind of a small detail that I quite like. There is actually a light. I mean, it's obviously not a real light, but that's obviously what would illuminate the the ground in front of the tank. Found that quite a nice little detail. There is also a spade here, which presumably was used to sort of dig the tank out if it got stuck in mud. So there are many different ways that the tank moves around and you, you know, so you could sort of play with it and it is quite robust. It's not gonna fall apart as you're playing with it. But I personally think these things are more for more for display. But yeah, maybe it's one of those things a kid would have. You'd buy it for a kid, but then the adult would mysteriously build it for them because the kid couldn't do it. It would have been so easy to have designed a tank that just looked like a sort of, I don't know, a box with some caterpillar tread and a, a gun on the front. But you can tell a lot of thought has gone into the shape of this to make it more faithfully recreate the shape of a Tiger One. It's things like this line here being um, diagonal from the front to the back of the tank. You know, it's a lot of care has gone into faithfully recreating the shape of this tank. And this tank costs uh, currently about £50 from uh, Brick Tanks. If you use the code Dr. Jake at the checkout and click through my link, you will get 5% off and I'll make a little bit of commission. Isn't that nice? Now, I do think this tank is worth every penny of 50 pounds and I will be adding it to my collection of Kobe vehicles. But maybe 50 pounds is beyond your budget, which is fair enough. We don't always want to spend 50 pounds. Brick Tanks is actually expanding out into other brands at the moment. They're gonna be moving into Sluban. I've forgotten the name of the other brands, but some brands that are a little bit cheaper and offer a different range of military vehicles. And I will be looking at those over the coming months. So it'll be interesting to see how they compare to Kobe and seeing what those companies bring to the table. Um, really quite excited to do that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I do have a Patreon and uh, for just a few dollars a month, Patreons get their names displayed on the screen and the very generous Patreons, George Foot, Magnanimous Meg, Jim McKay, Jennifer Jones and Ross Carter get their names mentioned because they are such generous patrons. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Link to this set down below and I shall see you next time for another video.